Ladies and gentlemen, Halidox signing back in, picking up exactly where we left off last time, looking at the tail end of the submarine, there this Nick. Uh, what, oh, where? Huh. I'm gonna go inside the submarine, uh, it looks like there's a couple people there we're talking to. And, uh, I think said talk to Zealot Field. Is that person on the outside? They are, possibly toward the bottom. I don't see them up. So, but we're gonna talk to this dude first and just see where we can go from there. If you remember, or if you played, or yeah, if you played Fallout 4, there was a submarine you could visit. It was the Chinese submarine, still run by a ghoul captain after all that time. Uh, very interesting. But uh, he had disavowed the rest of his crew because they were all crazy ghouls, and he was the only smart one. Ah, I heard whispers of a new convert. Welcome, brother. Welcome. How does it feel to take your place among Adam's chosen? Uh, I feel bizarre. Adam's chosen. This place, the nucleus, the island. I thought that was an accordion Adam on the front of him. It all for us. He's chosen. All but one blasted corner. Oh, good news. Been to Far Harbor, yes? Seen its barriers against Adam's holy fog? Its citizens' blasphemous refusal to vacate what is clearly his domain? What would you do with such a place? Is Far Harbor really that bad? Yes, brother, they are. For years, my predecessor begged for peace while Far Harbor fortified their bastion of heresy. We tried to help them, to bring them Adam's light. Many of our brethren ended up dying for it. But now that I am High Confessor, that time is over. All Adam's foes, whether Far Harbor cowering behind their precious condensers, or that ancient robot hiding away his memories within our very home, they will come to recognize Adam as the sole master of this island. But it is only through unity that we can succeed. Adam requires devotion from all his children. Embrace that, and you will do well here. Now, was there anything you required? Would you mind answering a couple questions for me? Certainly. What do you wish to know? What happened to the Confessor before you? Martin. No one knows. One night he was sleeping in his chambers in the vessel, and the next morning he'd simply vanished. The other zealots and I organized a party to try and find him, to no avail. I wouldn't be shocked if he took up in Far Harbor or fled to the south. His dedication to Adam had become questionable. He'd done nothing when Far Harbor executed one of our missionaries. So I dare say it's best that he fled. What happened to this missionary? A foul atrocity. Our good brother Andrews had decided to brave the fog and attempt to bring Adam's light to that ghastly town and remind the heathens of their trespasses. From what I hear, He'd barely spoken a word before they cut him down in cold blood. For nothing more than his devotion. Beasts. There's so much radiation on the island. How come people here don't get sick? Some do. But most of our family has been blessed at birth with an affinity for the glow. It's no more to us than a May rain. Warm. Comforting. It's why a place like this island truly is meant for his children. Others simply wither away while we gladly await division. What can you tell me about division? Adam's greatest gift. Locked inside us all are billions of invisible worlds, waiting only to be touched by his glow in order to be born anew through division. During the Great War, it was granted to many, though they certainly didn't realize. <laughs> oh, but today, it is often a slow process, taking years of exposure in order to be realized. 
We are all here to spend our lives seeking the promise of division, however long it may take. Now, did you have another question? I heard the children are responsible for the fog. Is that true? Of course. The fog predates our arrival on the island, certainly. But before us, it was but an occasional presence. Yet through our faith, our devotion to family, Adam saw fit to reach across the land, claiming for us more, year after year, until near all lay beneath his grasp. Now, was there something else I could answer? Oh, these dudes are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Goodness. How is it you came to this place? We were guided here many years ago, after our exile from Far Harbor. The first of us, my predecessor, Martin, and I, had come north at the behest of Adam's great prophet, Confessor Cromwell, from a small refuge in the capital wastes. When we arrived on the island, we found a few souls receptive to Adam's message. Anna, the Archimist, was formerly Far Harbor's doctor before she found the light. But most, they thought us a menace. We were chased from the town, driven into the wilds, barely escaped with our lives. Barely escaped. Some of us were never the same. It was only thanks to the grace of Atom that we survived, and finally found a place that we could call home. Didn't have anything else for the moment. Adam, keep you. Adam, keep me, huh? Be respectful. You walk through hallowed halls. All right, he's like a little thingy above his head. Maybe he's still got a mission. Hi, Confessor. Far Harbor claims another of our brethren. Their demise cannot come soon enough. But I'm sorry, Ella. You needed something. I found this icon. The Grand Zealot said you'd be interested in seeing it. Is that? The mother. So the whispers were true. You saw the mother of the fog. Many of Adam's children spend their whole lives wishing for such a boon. It would seem he expects great things from you, child. As will I. Now, was there anything else? I'd like to help the family. Is there anything I can do? Eager. There is a member of our little community I've suspected for some time now. My own inquiries have proven fruitless. But your relative newness will likely make it easier for you to sniff out the truth. I would have you investigate this person. Should you find proof of any heresy or disloyalty, you are to bring it to me. So you can be trusted, and you'll be rewarded. What exactly am I looking for? Hard evidence of any plots against myself, the family, or disrespect towards Holy Adam. Such transgressions cannot be allowed to stand. Oh, of course not. You mentioned a reward. There is a relic, a sacred cowl, that I've been holding on to. Perform the deed to my satisfaction. And it's yours. Consider it done. Superb. Bring whatever you find directly to me. Here, the person in question. Leave no stone unturned. This is a chance to prove your value to Adam. The hive. And it said something about Dima, but I don't want to pick his brain just yet or... Uh give away what's going on and force the game. Ah, our family has gotten a little bigger. Well, Pardon me, brother. Another child, dead at the hands of Far Harbor. Barbarous animals. Hmm. I was gonna say, this doesn't look too terribly different. If you're looking for the crypt, you took a wrong turn. My job to take care of this place. You touch anything. I'm There's taking a lot of, uh, Understand? A lot of radiation. Back over here. Oh, we're back. Oh. Okay. 
Alright, let's head back up. Let's try and do these other missions before we reveal that we want to pick or uh, take a look at Demon's Memories. Um, we'll say I don't know if this crypt terminal will give me any give away anything, but let's uh, let's move in. That's it. Okay, that's all it says. Zealot Ware seems so interested in other devils. Wonder if he's thinking about joining him. Uh, I already have the radium rifle. Oh, Zealot Ware. Looking for help. Zealot Ware. Many would do harm to Adam's faith. A visit Brother Kane if you're in need of protection. Man, they want me to visit all sorts of interesting people, don't they? Well, I guess it would be too easy to just condense it down. It is a whole nother quest line and everything, so... Oh goodness, that's a lot of uh, deceased bodies that they just got piled up here. That's always pleasant. Where do you sleep? I sleep amongst the skeletons. <laughs> Alright. Looks like I probably gotta exit the submarine before I go any further. So, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Someone within stone throw to be able to talk to him. judgment to Sister Gwyneth. I'm still working on it, Grand Zealot. Then I will let you return to your duty. Thank you. Thank you. I haven't even left and you're sitting here bugging me the question. Alright, well there's one, so let's go off and uh, right, so right, so right. down farther right. still so we'll take the staircase. There we go. Hello. Excuse me. Yeah? I mean, glory to a- Wait, you're the new convert. You happen to see Brother Devon, the sickly guy praying off by himself. Who? Brother Devon, the skinny guy near the entrance to the bay, starting to look like a ghoul with hair. You can't miss him. See, Brother Devon, he's been on a fast, a long one. No food, only irradiated water. <laughs> okay. Most folks would say that's real admirable, giving yourself to Adam like that. What do you think? Why? What do you think? I've got my opinions. Right now, I'm interested <laughs> in yours. Yeah, oh, goodness. About this fast. I mean, it's his choice, right? Who are we to stop him? That's easy to say, but look, me and Devin, we're we weren't born with Adam's blessing like everyone else around here. Rads, they hurt us. Now Devon thinks fasting and refusing meds till he dies is gonna get Adam to grant him some kind of revelation or something. I've tried talking to him, but he won't listen to me anymore, and everyone else in this place thinks what he's doing is a brilliant idea. I, I know we don't know each other, but, but if you could convince him to quit, I'd owe you. Could give you some anti-rad meds I've cooked up. Recipe, too. Damn handy for folks like us. What do you say? Talk to him for me? I always like talking to people. We'll wait, but uh, let's see what it says. Anti-rad meds? Are those allowed? No one's gonna bother you about scouring off the globe, if that's your concern. They understand we weren't all born with his blessing. But my brew will clear away some rads and give you a little kick of energy. Anytime I make a batch, you're welcome to some. Give you the recipe to boot. So you... Think you'd be willing to talk to Brother Devon about this fast of his? Okay, sure. I'll talk to him. Oh, thank you. Please, just do it quick, all right? He's starting to look bad. Hmm. All right. Yeah, we'll uh talk to him. 
starting to stack up the missions again. Yeah, he was near the entrance. That's what it is. Thank goodness my charisma is so high. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. I didn't even... If you ever sit forward. Oh, no, I don't want to pickpocket him. Uh, hi there. Holy Adam. From this spot, I... I... Is that you? Oh, holy... Oh. I, I'm sorry, brother. I thought you were... Never mind. Did you need something? You seem like you're expecting someone. I am. Adam came to me. And I will follow his command. His voice, this dude's voice sounds familiar. I just can't place it. Adam came to you. What did you see? My saving grace. Jet has been my crutch for many years. One day, I was in the woods, polluting myself, when a figure strode from the sky before me. A verdant stag, wreathed in holy glow. It commanded me to return to the nucleus, and to leave behind my iniquities, and give myself fully to Adam. For my dedication, Adam would send another messenger, who would free me from my shackles once and for all. That, brother, is why I must wait. I man of the messenger. Hold on, let me save this. I just want to see how he reacts to my charisma. I have good news. I am Adam's messenger, and I have come to free you from your shackles. hi -ya! There! hi -ya. <laughs> you're, the, you're the messenger? The shackles are gone? They are, aren't they? Oh, thank you. Thank you, your brilliance. And don't fear, messenger. I will keep your secret. Oh, Adam above, thank you. I can't believe it. His messenger. <laughs> I just want to see where this dude runs. If he ever gets unstuck off the wall. There we go. Where are you gonna go? Are you gonna go back inside? I don't know. <laughs> so much desire. Just want to see what this dude, where this dude goes. He's so excited. Oh, he just posts up? Man. Alright, I thought it'd be cooler. Well, whatever. Okay, now I got to watch. Pardon me. Excuse me. All right. Well, that was simpler than I anticipated. Where? You did it, Adam. Above, you did it. Here. Any time I brew a new batch, you can have some. And if there's anything else I can do for you, you let me know. Mm, nice bit of experience. Just sure. before you're affected by radiation. Why would you choose to live in a place like this? Sure beats where I came from. Before joining the family, I was a trapper. Lived with a nasty bunch out in the fog, barely scraping by. Kind of place you slept with a knife under your pillow to make sure no one stole your food. But one day, out hunting, we stumbled upon High Confessor Tectus and his crew on their way to a pilgrimage. We surrounded them, took them captive. Figured we could ransom them back for some grub and ammo. I pulled guard duty. Me and the High Confessor get to talking. You can probably figure out what happened next. <laughs> you turned on the trappers? Mm-hmm. The High Confessor started describing the life I could have at the Nucleus with Adam. Three meals a day. Not having to worry about getting eaten in my sleep. Radiation wasn't even that much worse. <laughs> Plus, I had my brew to handle that. Ended up being a pretty easy decision. I helped the children clean out the trappers and started my new life here. So, something else I can do for you? Why do you care so much about Devin? I mean, he's a good kid. Sure, he likes his jet a little too much, but it's not like he was out raiding. He just needed a hand. Lucky for us both, you showed up. Huh. Kinda makes you wonder if Adam didn't have a part in this after all. Maybe he so, did, maybe he didn't. Was there something else? Got any more of your brew? Fresh out at the moment. 
Stop by in a couple of days. Now you need something else? Didn't need anything at the moment. All right, then. Take care of yourself. I will definitely take care of myself. I'll find this other person who's very close by. Oh, they're going to give you the location. Or at least what I'm supposed to follow and whatnot. Pardon me. Glory to Adam, brother. You must be the one Richter sent out to the spring. Don't appear you turned into a slobbering goon. So I'm guessing you had a favorable experience. What visions did Holy Adam bless you with? Slobbering goon? Do people have bad reactions to the spring? Few make it through the ritual intact. Sort of the point. A vision from Adam is a great honor. Not something to be granted to the unworthy. So tell me, what did you see? So the spring is supposed to hurt me? <laughs> the spring shows who's capable of serving Adam and who is not. Clearly Adam saw your strength and blessed you with the vision of... A woman. She guided me to a small shrine. The Grand Zealot said she was called the Mother of the Fog. What? <laughs> you? Saw the mother of the... How did... I guess it's not our place to question the ways of Adam. If there is anything I or the other zealots can do to serve, all you need to do is ask. Well, that's exa exactly why I'm here. So, you're a zealot? What is that exactly? We are defenders of Adam's faith, and guardians of the Nucleus. Most were mercenaries or trappers before they finally came to Adam. Though Richter, apparently, was actually a soldier of some rank in his old life. If the rumors are true. Adam ever grant you any visions? Sort of. My parents were settlers. Tried to carve out a life for us in the fog. Moved us all out there when I was just a girl. Made do for a couple years. Adam's Vale hadn't claimed the whole of the island back then. But then... came the storm. A rad storm. Unlike anything the island had ever seen. Our little homestead didn't stand a chance. I was the only one to survive. Thanks to my blessing. Adam's blessing. I wandered for days. Living off whatever I could scrounge, drinking puddles and salt water, until I stumbled on a spring. THE spring. The vision I had. It felt like it lasted for days. I was back in the storm, but I wasn't afraid. I was in control. When I finally came to, I was in Richter's arms. He carried me back here and raised me to serve Adam. The Grand Zealot sent me. Tell me what you can about Sister Gwyneth. Very well. As I'm sure the Grand Zealot informed you. Gwyneth was once a devoted member of our order, though prone to strange moods. She was well liked by many. The Grand Zealot in particular seemed to have a fondness for her. At least until she turned her back on Holy Adam. It was my duty to find her. But Gwyneth was always clever. I'm ashamed to admit that I failed. <laughs> you deliberately failed. I'm not gonna say that to her, but we'll wait and see. Turn her back on Adam. I can only tell you what I saw. She was praying quietly, when she suddenly leapt up and began to shout that Adam is a lie. When Tempest <laughs> confronted her, she struck him with such force that she knocked him to the ground. When she realized what she'd done, she fled. Tectus wanted us to send someone after her, make an example. But at the time it was not his decision. Confessor Martin insisted we wait, hope for her return. Sadly, that never happened, and we gave her up for dead. That was the end of Gwyneth. Or so we thought. One of the acolytes spied her at a holy site, but she escaped in the fog. It was not long after that the blasphemous messages appeared, and we knew it had to be her. Why not just ignore her? Is Gwyneth really that much of a threat to you? No, that is out of the question. Adam's will is clear in this matter. Heresy cannot be tolerated. I'll find Sister Gwyneth. Then by Adam's grace. I hope that you will succeed where I did not. You should begin by searching the holy sites. Perhaps you'll find some clue I missed. I want to see if there's a way to accuse her of that. Really. Zealot feel. Yes? Something you needed? What are your duties here? I am the Grand Zealot Second. It is my job to ensure the Zealots are fit for the conflict to come. Against all those who offend Adam. Nothing for now. Remain vigilant, brother. I will. Alright. 
that's enough, like, all these people just talking, talking, talking. I enjoy the conversations, but man, I just wanna... I wish they had a little bit less to say. Help, there's more optional as well. Excuse me, brother. Far Harbor will know Adam's wrath. Help, sister, my. Alright. I'm just gonna, like, gaze upon this person, see if I can find them, whether they're up or down. Oh, they're there. I looked right past them. Oops. Alright, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna uh, continue this video any further. I'm gonna stop here, but we'll start off by talking to... Um, this person here, Mai, but is that what it said it was her name was? Sister Mai. Well, we're going to start talking with Sister Mai, and then we'll probably head outside and try and finish up this mission, assuming it doesn't give me a handful more optional missions, since it seems like every time I walk around I get another one. But as of right now, this is Halidot.